Okay guys, what we have in the slow cooker is two liters of goat milk. Now this yogurt don't have to be made with goat milk. I've seen it made with any kind of cow's milk, 2% skim milk, full fat milk. But we have goat milk. It's going to be in the slow cooker for two and a half hours. From there we'll cool it down. It takes three hours to cool it down. Drop a little bit on the counter. That's about normal. Cool it down for three hours or until it's about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we add our yogurt culture. I'll be adding yogurt that I've made before or you could just add a store-bought one. This is the store-bought one that I used the last time. It's got to say live active uh, culture. If it's, not, if it's not, it won't work apparently. But all this is is just plain yogurt. Nothing special. And once you have have your own, you just save a little bit for uh, for the next time. But this is very simple to do. Unbelievably simple, really. It does take a, take some time. You won't be able to eat this until tomorrow. So really, it's a 24-hour process. Once it's cooled, we'll add. Uh, I don't even think it really matters how much. I put a tablespoon for each uh, half a liter. So I'll put four tablespoons in here. And then sit it in the fridge overnight. And then it's ready to eat. I like it with fruit. Just put it over fruit. If you wanted to uh, make it sweet, you could add sugar or honey or whatever you use for a sweetener. Uh, for me, just pour a little bit of this over some fruit. What I saw one person do, and I think it's a very good idea, it was actually delicious, is uh, add some homemade jam. It's like eating store-bought yogurt, but you know where all the products are coming from. So you got some good homemade jam with yogurt mixed into it, or, you know, fresh fruit. It's awesome on fresh fruit. This is so simple, you'll never buy yogurt again, trust me. It just takes a little bit of time. So I'll come back when we get to the next step. Okay, so that's two and a half hours. So now we're done the cooking process. And like the last time, we've got a little bit of a film on it. I just stirred it in the last time, it was no big deal. You can take it out if you want. I'm going to leave it. So it's done cooking, that's basically the pasteurization process. We'll turn her off. And now we'll let it sit just like that until it comes down to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 42, 43 degrees Celsius in that neighborhood. Three hours. That's what I let it sit last time. Three hours this becomes Cool to the touch, or not cool to the touch, but you can touch it, it's quite warm now. And then we can uh, do the part that actually turns it into yogurt. Okay, three hours is up. As you can see, it made a little skin on there again. It's actually more like four hours, I guess. But it's cooled down now. The next step. Is to add the yogurt. This is the yogurt I made before. Like I say, this is so easy. The yogurt companies don't want you to know exactly how, just how easy it is. And it's very forgiving. I don't know how I got a chopstick in there. Make sure it's mixed in. That's the culture. That's what turns it from milk to yogurt. All that means is that's the good bacteria. When we cooked it, we removed the bad bacteria and now we're adding the good stuff. And that's it. Now we let it sit for eight hours at least. I'm letting it sit overnight. 
right where it is. Cover it up. This is just to help keep it warm. I don't think I need it here. It's already pretty warm. But depending on the temperature of your house is going to depend on how much you need to wrap it. That's more than enough for us. We'll just leave that sit there. I got to at least eight hours. Tomorrow morning, we'll put it in the fridge. Okay, morning time. Moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Uh oh, stuck. Looks the part, don't it? Huh? Yeah. So we'll put this in the fridge, get it cold, and then we'll do a taste test. Okay, time for the taste test. It's got uh, since it got cold, it's got a lot thicker. So what we have here is some fresh mango. I think I need a bigger spoon. Yeah, that's delicious. And what jam? This is surprisingly good. I don't. I wouldn't have thought of this. Just a spoonful of your favorite jam. Man, that's good. That's better than a fresh, uh, fresh fruit. Like how easy is that, huh? It took oh, probably 14 hours or something to make it. But the actual work time would be like 20 minutes, you know? So just a whole lot of waiting. Let me tell you, that is delicious. If you do this, you'll never buy yogurt again. Alright guys, that's it. <laughs> that's some good. Thanks for watching.